450. My appointment was at four, so. But it was also only three pallets. Let's forget about this thing. And they're gonna call me. Jump on that dude. He answered the phone. He asked, is everything good on that load in Lima? And I was like, yeah, and I'm headed towards Dayton. And then he proceeded to ask me a bunch of questions and I just hung up on him. I'm like, I already told you yes, and I hung up. It's like, not in the mood for stupid questions that I've already answered. Like, as everything good encompasses everything. He asked me if the temperature was right, if there was any OS and D. Is everything good kind of encompassed all of that? But anyway, I'm headed down to Dayton as soon as I get these doors closed and uh, I'm gonna be pretty early. My appointment's at nine, I'm gonna get there at six, 6.37, so I don't know if they'll load me early or not, but they kinda have street parking there. They have a place I can park and wait until they're ready to load me, and then when they're done loading me, I'll be good to go. stop in there and grab a bite to eat when I got done out of there because I like Waffle House and it's like there's not that many truck parking and for some reason they closed off all the truck parking maybe they sold it to someone else but oh well I guess I'll save my money Wait them on like four times. It ain't perfect, but she's tight. This place a few times. I've never had this many trucks on the side of the road. 
think I can scoot over a little bit more, but just don't know if it's worth all the effort. Instant headache. Just trying to maneuver my truck around. Nice spots. That's my service brake pressure. Need to change directions or slow down, I had to hit the brake instead of hitting the clutch. And it drains the air pressure faster than it can build. And I end up running out of air pressure. I don't have to park like this in a lot of places, but sometimes you do, you know? And it just kind of leaves you stuck. I'm gonna sit here and let the air pressure build up before I kill it so that when I start to go, I won't have to wait for it. Now I gotta pull back out of this place. I'm gonna go check in. It's a good thing I called because it was like 20 minutes before my appointment. So I called and he was like, yeah, it's a good thing you called because I've been so swamped. I don't think I got your information down. I was like, well, okay. Diesel down. Down. It's a lot easier to go that in than it was to out than it was to get in. training that lady so it took a little longer than it usually does. Ooh. Who are you honking at? Diesel down.
call later because that stupid broad right as I was backing up she drove behind me I never saw her until she was over in my freaking outside my window she drove in behind me while I was backing up so me not thinking about where I was at I'm at a shipper I'm not on the road just kind of flipped her the bird and she saw me and she made some kind of cocky head movement like oh yeah so I might be getting a call about that one it's okay people are dumb I don't know what about a tractor trailer with their doors open in front of a dock door says you know what I think I'm gonna drive in behind them like to sit on an ankle. <laughs> Brings blocks with it. Set the truck up on blocks. To flatten it out. Seems like a lot of extra work. They changed that appointment on me while I was in my sleep mode last night. So instead of just showing up any time and they'll be able to take me, they changed the appointment to 7 o'clock tonight. So I slept as long as I could and I have to roll now because I just can't sleep any longer. They do have parking there so I can get there and park and wait for a door. But I'm likely going to be waiting a long time. So because it's uh, four, it's only a 10 hour drive, so I'll be there at like two o'clock in the afternoon and it's actually an hour earlier there because it's central time. So I'll be there at like one, which is six hours early for my appointment, which is fine, but it, it always
course, kind of sucks a little bit to show up too early when you know you're not going to get a door anytime soon. But there's nothing I can do about it. They changed the appointment before I went to sleep. So I didn't know about it until I woke up. sitting here talking to my buddy but uh when i got here they were like drop your trailer and there's an empty trailer down the road and when i got over there there was a hirschback truck hooked up to a trailer oh excuse me a trailer and he was pulling out as i was pulling in and so there was no empty so now i'm sitting here in their yard waiting to get unloaded and that's my buddy calling me back Okay, I, I'm gonna to try to keep looking at the camera instead of the screen, because I realize that it looks weird when I'm talking to that instead of that. So, I'm gonna to try to catch you up on what's going on. So, I checked in here at one o'clock this afternoon, which is well early before my appointment, and I understood that I was probably gonna wait. And so, at first they were like, okay, it's a, we have an empty trailer for you, so you can drop and hook. Okay, so I dropped my trailer, and the 
instructions were to come down to the staging lot where there should be an empty trailer, hook up to it, come back to the guard shack, and then he'll check the trailer out of their system and give me back my bills. So I drop my trailer, come over here. There's no trailer over here. There's a hearseback tr truck driver sitting attached to a trailer. And before I could even leave the dirt lot to go talk to them, he was leaving and heading out of here. Like, okay. So maybe that was the empty that he was talking about. And I might have to pause from time to time because I've been seizing all day. So I don't want to sneeze on camera. So I'll pause and sneeze. And like, right. False alarm. Okay. So there's no empty. So now it's going to be a live unload. He says, you know, you can just uh, hook back up to it where it sits in the yard and wait for a door. And this whole time, I missed a bunch of the recording because I was talking on the phone with my buddy that I don't get a chance to talk to that much, so we ended up having a two-hour long conversation. Oh, Lord. I want to sneeze again. False alarm. Okay. It's hard to focus on what my storytelling when my sinuses are on fire. Okay, so now I'm sitting in the yard for about two hours sitting there chatting with my bro my buddy. And uh shag driver comes up and he says, uh, we're doing a shift change now, so it's gonna be a little while. And I was like, well, how long's a while? He's like, oh, it could be an hour or it could be five hours. I really couldn't tell you. You got a truck ahead of you, so I really couldn't tell you. So I was like, okay, well, if that's the case, if it could be that long, then I'd just prefer to go park at the staging lot because I can let my dog out over there. And I, it's a lot quieter over there, so if I want to take a nap, I can. He's like, okay, no problem. Guards got your phone number, we'll call you when we got a dock. Which, and I've, I've delivered here two or three times, and they've always been good about giving you a call and getting you a dock. But four hours went by, five hours went by, six hours went by, seven hours went by. And I kind of got impatient, so I gave him a call. Like, hey, I've been checked in here since 1 o'clock. It's, you know, now 10 o'clock at night, and I still haven't gotten a dock to get my trailer unloaded. What's going on? He's like, oh, dang. Uh, I'll send you over to the shipping office. You know, I'll transfer the call over there. You can ask them what, what's up. And I'm like, okay. He's like, and right before he did, he's like, oh, you know, if they don't answer, just give me a call back. Uh, okay. So he transfers me, and it rings, and then their automated things that you know kicks in and says you can leave a message so i hang up call back he's like okay i'll call him on the radio so through the phone call and through his radio this is the conversation i heard hey uh there's a hearseback driver sitting here says he's been here since one and he wants to know what we can get done about getting him unloaded oh uh, well that i think they're gonna have to take that load back to ohio uh he, he just needs to get back with his dispatch i'm like oh, what what and it's not like they're rejecting the load because they never broke the seal. I mean, they checked the temperature, it was correct. And they're not rejecting the load, they're just telling me that they're not taking the load with no explanation at all, none. I don't have like, oh, we don't have dock space, I don't have any information whatsoever. So, and the, I kind of tried to prod this gate guard, but you know, he's a gate guard. He doesn't know what the goings on of the the plant is you know he just checks the trucks in and out that's his job so i was like okay well, i guess i'll just call dispatch see what i can figure out and give call dispatch a call and i told him what they said he's like yeah we don't know what they're talking about that doesn't make any sense i was like yeah that's kind of what i thought i, I kind of doubt we're gonna take this all the way back to ohio hold on hold on The sinuses are killing me. If you can see my eyes, uh, it's gonna wash my face out. Are they all bloodshot and red? Yeah. Allergies are trying to murder me. So happens every spring. I'm used to it, but it still always sucks. So yeah, I'm in holding pattern. I don't know what's happening next. I just have to wait till morning, see what they figure out.
the light turned green, I pulled up and checked there's still something on the nose of it. Okay, I did you not hear what I said? There's still something on the nose of this truck. Oh really? I'm pretty sure we'll double they check. I'm not leaving without it, it empty. So. I know, it's just Let's it look at it. It's really hard to be polite to people when you, they've dicked you around for a whole day. I need to go get this thing washed out and head to Springfield. I'll be right on time to pick that load up if it doesn't take forever at the washout place because I'm going there in the middle of the damn day instead of in the middle of the night. Aggravated. That's the only way to really sum it up. Pretty damn aggravated. I'm gonna pull over here and send in my empty call. <laughs> <laughs> 